You didn't want to do it. No, no, no. Probably, uh, let's see. It's at the bottom of the list, but you had to do it anyway. Confronting a fear. 855-400-9475. And this happened to you while you were in California this weekend, right? Yeah, this weekend. So we've talked about this before on the show. And it really surprised me, honestly, when I first found out. My husband is 6'4", loves to fly, loves to travel, has a fear of heights. Right. Kind of was one of those things that shocked me a little because he's like not afraid of anything. You know, it's just one of those things. And also like, you're really tall. I mean, like you're already living at a height. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're already up there. You're already, you're already pretty high up there. Like, are you afraid of that? Um, And so it just kind of does surprise me when we find ourselves in those moments, you know, when we're in tall buildings or right balconies and he's just kind of like mm, I'll be over here you know what I mean like you and then I'm like and then I see it you know and right. it, it like reminds me that he's got, very similar to that. that he's got this odd little fear of heights so over the weekend uh, when we were in California there was this really cool opportunity where we were in Palm Springs and there's tons of mountains and desert and all this cool stuff um we had this opportunity to take what's called the palm tram up 8,000 feet into the mountains and then once you get up there they have like a whole station that you get off in. you're in san Jacinto park and you can like hike and go through the mountains there's snow that's cool there was snow i mean it was is it like a gondola car kind of but no yes it's put it this way it's not like a chairlift where you're on the outside it is not a chairlift okay so it is picture like a gondola car but it's circular so it's very big and circular uh, the windows are open. Of course. So they're Gotta not. Gotta get some fresh air up there. Fresh air. And it's about like a 10 to 15 minute. Torture. Straight up. Right. I mean, she's straight up. They, you, you know, get in at the bottom at the station and it's like, all right, we'll be there in about, you know, 10 to 12 minutes. And then like, that seems like a while. Like that seems, <laughs> it seems like a minute. Is it going faster than that? Can we crank that up a little bit? And. The the interesting part too is like I said, it's it's going it's going pretty vertical up. The bottom where you're standing, you're not sitting either, you are standing, rotates the whole time slowly. Why? So that you can get a view, a different view the entire way up. Just look over your shoulder. So you can view up the back, the hey. side, the bottom. It is very cool. Um, and the other part is that once you get up to um, like each, each, you know, pole kind of station that they have, right. It goes over it and it's like, woo. And the whole thing like swings. I mean, this whole, oh, thing, is there a bounce too? Oh, oh, that's great. I mean, you go over it and it's like, all right, this is going to be the bumpiest one. And you like go up and you're like, rrr, rrr, and I mean, and it is going, woo, thank God that I didn't come off the cable this time. Huh? Wow. We're lucky there. Exactly. I mean, and you are, you are up there. I mean, it's 8,000 8, feet. Right. Um, so it was interesting. And I feel like something that like that that would normally make me somewhat nervous because I don't like to fly and stuff like that, but I love rides. Um, I was just watching my husband the whole time. Like, are you are you okay? Are you are you good? We good? You good? Okay. Right. Because uh, he was, you know, just kind of like okay, okay, okay. Well, when you go skiing, it, does he do all right on chairlifts? Yeah, he does. He does fine. He doesn't mind them. He gets to a point where he's like, all right, I'm ready to get off. Like, you know what I mean? Like he love like you know. But but it's only a certain amount of time. And yeah, you're there. It's like, not. Right. It's not a twelve minute ride. Right. This was, and it is. It was, and I will say, it is straight up. And not only that, you are looking down in like just mountains. I mean, it's you're surrounded by just and deep ravine mountains. Inevitably, this thing is no joke. Everybody looks down, and they everybody has the same thought. If this were to come off the oh, cable right now, bye bye. How fast would we die? It's quick. Yeah, it we, would be not great. We used to do that game on chairless. We used to call it instant death. <laughs> where you're, you're, you and your friends are odd. No. Where you might be able to survive that spot, but not that one over there. Yeah, it's. I'm going to go ahead and say that this fall at any point in this cable ride was a zero percent survival rate. It was. All right, so but Bo, but Bo did it. He did it. He didn't want to do it. Um. I mean, it was his idea to go and do this, but then it, I will say, once you get on there, you're like, "Ooh, okay, like this is this is intense." Um, I mean, even and it makes you nervous when you see kind of everybody else around you, and there's you know 
like 15, 20 people on there with you. The fact that you're rotating for the entire thing is a little over excessive, there, I think. There was a woman that right as the doors were closing, she went, nope, and jumped off. And so that kind of starts you off on like a, oh, okay. Like this lady just <sighs> flipped out and was like, nah, bah, 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 bah. okay, all right. All right, you you just triggered something in my head. But he was better on he was good on the way down. Like on the way down, you're like, yay, we're going down. Right, when you're going up. It's like you can't even see the top. Like that's how many of those kind of bump things you went over. And then if you we were, get disconnected, we're gonna roll backwards so much. And then you were like up over another mountain, and it was like, so where is the where is the end of this thing? Does anybody see the station? Because it feels like it's Does not. Does anybody else see heaven? I was like, is it soon? Like how soon? All yeah. right, eight five five four hundred nine four seven five. Call or text with the one time that you had to confront your fear. There was you, there was no going back. All right, you 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 had to do this. You're doing it. You didn't want to, but you had to. But the woman jumping out of the of the uh, car oh, at the yeah. last second, she was like, "Nope." That exact moment happened to me one time. Really? That, oh yeah. Were and you gonna it, do something? Oh, I had to do something, and I was all, "I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this." And all of a sudden, somebody flipped out, and I'm like, "Nope, See? nope, nope." Oh, really? And you didn't do it? Oh, I had to do it. Okay. I had to keep did going. Did you do it or it. not do it? I did. Okay. He did not. Okay. I'll tell you that in just a second. Okay. But. Oh my God, the the last minute freak out. That just causes oh, you to go right to panic. Oh, yeah. 855 400 9475.